good morning so you know i have to start my day off with a smoothie but this time i'm switching it up a little instead of one smoothie i decided to make two and add them together i am using my homemade banana milk as the base for both smoothies because i find that it gives it a better taste i know i don't talk much about my homemade banana milk but just know it's an amazing cost saving nut milk alternative for my raw vegan version of deviled eggs, I washed up my mushrooms, seasoned them with coconut aminos and sea salt, and put them in a dehydrator for an hour at 109 Fahrenheit. I soaked my cashews overnight and had my ingredients ready to make my all-time favorite dressing. <laughs> My mushrooms are now ready to be stuffed. When it comes to mushrooms, they are great at holding flavor. Also, I love topping my mushrooms with pomegranates because that burst of sweet flavor is something I did not know I needed. Okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of yellow watermelon, but my daughter wanted it, so I bought it and cut up a few slices and juiced the rest alongside my grape juice because it's my favorite. For dinner today, I will be having seasoned king oyster mushrooms. I dehydrated them for an hour at the same temperature and voila. I am stopping to gas up and off we go. So we are back at the Avalon because it's my favorite place to hang out, to shop, watch a movie, eat. It's truly a one-stop shop. Arby wanted to play, so I took her to the kids area and just sat and chilled out in the lobby area and ate my food because it was about that time. I am back shopping again, but this is like my favorite store here. Everything is mainly handmade and their candles are my favorite. It's only certain things I'll purchase here though because their prices are ridiculous. I saw a thin scarf for $245 and that's a no for me. But I do love their dehydrated herbal and fruit jars because they are hands down the best. For the Vitamix giveaway, I'm super excited and the rules apply the same as it did with the Nama J2. So if you do not respond to me within two weeks of me posting this video, it will go to someone else. I'm not going to lie because it's a lot of people on their healing journey and they could use this Vitamix. So I want to make sure that it truly goes to someone who really, really needs it. Um, so let's get into it. Of course, you know, I have my cute bag. I love this bag. I got this bag from Kroger. I know a lot of you guys were asking me about it. I got this bag from Kroger because they always have the cutest bags. So whenever I go grocery shopping, I take it with me. So I'm not gonna look in the bag because I'm about to do it now, but I just wanna let you guys know that I stayed up late last night just making sure that I got all the names from my last video. Like, it's crazy. I stayed up super late. And so I know that I have all the names in here, including the names from my other posts um, from my community tab. So I have everyone in here. So I hope, you know, whoever wins this, I wish you the best and congratulations in advance so let's get into it so all right i hate that i wrote them on paper because they all like kind of are tangled together so i hate that but i'm going to grab something okay i think i got something okay i got something all right i just want to make sure it's not tangled in with another name okay i got something Okay, so the winner is Carol Dowling. Congratulations! Congratulations! I am so happy for you. I hope that you enjoy your Vitamix because, you know, it is a really great product to have. Like, I use my Vitamix every single day now. I've never been a smoothie girl, and now I make smoothies every single day. I kid you not, um, as you can see in my videos now. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy it, and congratulations again. 
So let's chat a little bit. So a lot has changed in my life over the past seven months. You know, the good, the bad, from losing my dad to also, you know, stepping into a lot of opportunities. And one thing that like stands out to me the most in regards to like this journey is not allowing people to speak over your life. Like I kid you not, like this is something that I really want to share with you guys because over, you know, this journey of life in general, so many people have like spoke negatively over over my life I'm talking friends family ex-boyfriends and just to give you you know a couple examples like I had an ex-boyfriend that uh, cheated on me and that was his first time ever cheating or whatever and I found out about it and you know I left him it was nothing else to talk about you know and he was just like so so blown away by it because he felt like oh my god like why would you leave me this is our first you know argument this is our first disagreement you know people mess up and all this other stuff and I was over it like I'm not that person I'm over it and so you know he said to me um how did he say it he was like uh that's why if you continue to move this way when it comes to relationships where you're just like leaving people because they make a mistake you know you're gonna end up like an old white lady with a house full of cats right and so I'm thinking to myself sir I don't even like cats you know I have two cats now you know, even with family members, like one of my um, great aunts came to me and she said how proud she was of me because I was in college at that time and I was doing so well. I was being independent. I had a job, an internship actually. And so she was so happy for me and my grandmother was there at that time and she was like, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, she's even doing well. I can't, I'm shocked because I didn't think she was gonna be anything. And when I tell you that hurt my feelings so bad because it's just like, why would you think that? Like, why, you know, why would you think that? And she was like, because you were, you were such a bad kid, you know, you wouldn't listen and you, you were always getting into trouble with your teachers and all that stuff. And I'm just thinking like people change. So regardless of who you are today, don't allow people to speak over your life because of who you are today because people change every single day like i had a friend one time that told me oh my god you're gonna be single forever you know what i'm saying and it's just i i know like some people don't really look at it in a sense of oh my god i i wasn't trying to you know speak over your life but really if you're not careful you will subscribe to whatever anybody says about you you know what i'm saying because it was a certain point where you know i start to tell myself like okay so my life may turn out this way because i heard this more than once like sometimes if you're not you know strong-minded you will subscribe to it like it's just just in your subconscious mind now because you have all of these people in your life speaking over your life so whenever I hear someone like speak over my life like oh you're gonna end up Da, 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 da. like soon as like I hear that little intro like I'm over it like you cannot be in my life like I don't like when people speak over my life as you guys know I am a content creator I post content on YouTube and it's going well my channel is growing like it has grown so much over the past couple of months past seven months because we're putting seven on it past seven months right um and so the last friend that I cut off the day that I cut her off I kid you not the day that I cut her off, like my channel blew up that day, like that day, like I kid you not. I don't know if it's a coincidence because I had my channel, I don't know if you guys know, I had my channel four years before my channel took off, you know what I mean? So for it to happen on that particular day, I feel like that was a sign to me that, you know, you just have to cut off certain relationships. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to leave, you know, relationships in a bad space. You don't even have to fall out with that person for you to end that relationship. But if you see that it's not benefiting you, and it's just not working out you just don't feel that energy with them please 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 walk away you know what I mean you can still love people you can still reach out to them you know to give them your well wishes to make sure all is good but you do not have to have that relationship with them you know what I mean like I don't know how to explain it but when I tell you when I ended certain relationships and I don't know if you guys noticed but during my 90 day juice fast I spoke on this as well if you watch some of those videos I do say in you know some of them that you know I had to cut off certain relationships 
tips. I spoke on that a lot during my 90 day juice cleanse because it literally was the thing that, you know, allowed me to reconnect with myself and to love myself again and, you know, going through the motions actually. So don't allow anyone to speak over your life. And for those who are just kind of distance yourself from them because you just never know, you know what I mean? You just never know how it's influencing you, you know, even with your diet and the reason why it's so relevant as to what I'm talking about is because if you find that every day, every month, every week, you're still doing the same thing, like you're not sticking to your diet, you're not sticking to whatever it is that you're trying to do in life, even if you want to go raw, like you're just not sticking with it. And then you have people in your ear telling you like, girl, you're not doing this. Like you're lying. You're not getting this done. Like you're, you know, telling you that you're not going to do it. You're not going to make it. You're going to still eat cooked food. You're going to still do whatever it is that you want to do. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. It could be whatever your goals are. And so it becomes a certain point where you're just like, you know what? I can't do this. Like why? Who am I kidding? Like, who am I kidding for real? And so when you start to hear that and your actions reflect that, you're going to subscribe to it. And so I just want to encourage you guys to stay on task and um, one day you will get there. And that's what helps me on my journey because every day is a new day, it's a new opportunity. The past is irrelevant. Today is what matters. So whatever mistakes you made last week, yesterday, an hour ago, is irrelevant it's irrelevant let me tell you so whatever it is you want to do start today start right now moving forward and I promise you I promise you if you just eliminate all the negativity you will see a change in your life so that's all I wanted to say and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and once again congratulations Carol I hope you enjoy your Vitamix bye